गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट टुडे वी विल डिस्कस आवर न्यू टॉपिक फिजियोलॉजी एंड इंजरी इन स्पोर्ट्स फिजियोलॉजी फिजियोलॉजी इज द साइंटिफिक स्टडी ऑफ ह्यूमन बॉडी सिस्टम एंड इट्स इफेक्ट इन दिस चैप्टर वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट द फिजियोलॉजिकल फैक्टर्स दैट आर माइनिंग वेरियस कॉम्पोनेंट दैट इज स्ट्रेंथ स्पीड इंडोरेंस फ्लैक्सीबिलिटी एक्सेट्रा what are the physiological factors that determine this component how this components uh, how this component are affected by the body systems if our body systems function properly then what will happen to this component for example if our heart does not function properly then our endurance will be reduced because it will not supply oxygen to the working muscle therefore our endurance will be reduced first is physiological factors that are mining endurance 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 is a component of physical fitness endurance means the ability of an individual to do the activity for a long period of time means ability to withstand fatigue ability to do the activity for a long period of time without fatigue and endurance it is of two type aerobic endurance and anaerobic endurance and what are the factors which determine endurance the first is maximum oxygen uptake maximum oxygen uptake refers to the highest rate at which oxygen can be taken up and consumed by the body during the intense exercise if our oxygen uptake capacity increase then our endurance will be improved because it will supply more oxygen this uh, thus it enhances the oxygen utilization during the exercise thus which improve a uh, mitochondrial respirations and subsequently endurance will be improved okay maximum oxygen intake means highest rate at which the oxygen can be taken up and consumed by the body during the exercise if during the exercise if the maximum oxygen uptake improve then it will supply more oxygen if more oxygen Uh, more oxygen means our endurance will be improved pulmonary diffusions pulmonary diffusions means actions of oxygen and carbon dioxide between the lungs and the body so if the pulmonary diffusions increase faster more and faster the pulmonary diffusions more and faster will be the actions of oxygen and carbon dioxide which result in improve in endurance cardiac output cardiac output is the ability of heart to pump out blood in one minute in one minute how much blood our heart pump if our cardiac output improve then more blood will be pump out by the heart thus our endurance will be improve its help in circulating the pure blood oxygen rich blood to the working tissue therefore our muscles can do the activity for a long period of time aerobic capacity aerobic capacity aerobic aerobic means doing activity in the presence of oxygen if our aerobic capacity improve then we can do our activity for a long period of time bit slow speed we we do the, we do the activity for long period of time and our speed is slow lactis threshold lactis threshold means the ability to tolerate the lactic acid if we are able to tolerate the lactic acid then we will not feel fatigue okay lactic acids because if we do activity during uh, doing any physical workout physical activity lactic acid produced due to which we feel fatigue if the lactic acid produced we feel fatigue but if 
we have the ability to tolerate the lactic acids then um, then uh, we can do the activity for long period of time it help to delay the fatigue tiredness thus our endurance will be improved blood volume and flow if the blood volumes and flow is improved then endurance will be improved because it supply more oxygen more nutrients with the help of blood okay so if the flow of blood is more it will supply more oxygen which uh, which increase the hemoglobin in the cell and this increase blood plasma by which our endurance will be improved red muscle fibers there are two type of muscle fibers white muscle fiber and red muscle fibers red muscle fibers means slow twitch muscle fibers red muscle fiber carry more oxygen thus helpful for aerobic endurance higher the percentage of red muscle fibers that will be the more endurance okay if the person has more red blood cells then it will carry more oxygen to the walking muscles therefore we can do the activity for a long period of time and the persons who has white muscle fibers he has more speed the person who has red muscle fibers he will have more endurance and the persons who has white muscle fibers he will have more speed hydrations endurance activity for doing any activity um, we need waters if we do activity if we do any activity physical workout it cause sweating loss of important minerals which result in uh, dehydration therefore if we have sufficient amount of waters it helps to improve our endurance these are the factors which determine the endurance endurance means ability to tolerate the fatigue ability to do the activity for long period of time and what are the factors which determine endurance first is maximum oxygen uptake maximum oxygen uptake means um, oxygen uptake oxygen uptake means amount of oxygen which can be absorb and consume by the walking tissue okay oxygen uptake means the amount of oxygen consume by the walking tissue if the oxygen uptake improve then our endurance will be improved pulmonary diffusions pulmonary diffusions means actions of oxygen and carbon dioxide if fosters the actions of oxygen and carbon dioxide more will be the endurance cardiac output cardiac output means amount of blood pump out by the heart in one minute if our heart pump more blood then our endurance will be improved aerobic capacity aerobic capacity means doing the activity in the present of activity lactic threshold means ability to tolerate the lactic acid if we um, if uh, if we have able to tolerate our lactic acid due to lactic acids we feel fatigue if we are able to tolerate the lactic acids then we will have to delay the fatigue tiredness thus we can do the activity for a long period of time blood volume and flow if the flow of blood is more then more oxygen nutrients are supplied by the blood which result in more which result in increase in hemoglobin that is increase in red blood cells in our blood which cause improving in our endurance red muscle fibers red muscle fibers carry more oxygen thus that will be the high aerobic endurance okay if we have more oxygen sufficient oxygen we can do the activity for a long period of time hydrations if we have sufficient amount of waters in our body 
it's had to improve our endurance these are the physiological physiological factors which determine the endurance next is physiological factors that determine strength strength means ability to resist or ability to overcome the resistance okay strength means ability to overcome the resistance there are two type of strength static strength dynamic strength static means ability to overcome the resistance from a fixed point for example pushing a wall and dynamic means ability to overcome the resistance while in motion for example in wrestling running jumping etc in dynamic strength there are three types maximum strength explosive strength and strength endurance maximum strength means ability to overcome maximum resistance for example in weight lifting explosive strength means ability to overcome the resistance with high speed for example in uh, long jump and strength endurance means ability to overcome the resistance under the condition of fatigue for example in swimming running etc and what are the factors that determine strength the first is muscle covering sarcolemma the fibers the the muscle fibers covering sarcolemma uh, bind the muscle fibers to work together if the muscle if the sarcolemma covering uh, increase the cross which strengthens area and help in strength of muscle okay muscle uh, muscle fiber covering if our sarcolemma bind muscle fibers work together our strength our power will be improved white muscle fibers white muscle fiber that is fast twist muscle fibers white muscle fiber have more connective tissue okay white muscle fibers they have more connective tissue and they bring fast and strong contraction greater the percentage of white muscle fibers more will be the explosive strength because white muscle fibers it helps in uh, connecting the muscle muscular contraction muscular contractions there are two type of contraction muscular contraction that is eccentric and concentric and eccentric concentric uh, concentric means shortening of muscle and eccentric means lengthening of muscles that is downward movement of our muscle it regulate our muscular actions in a controlled manner it's help in accuracy and efficiency of movement and does help in strength development muscular contraction muscle length usually the muscle long long muscles have more strength as compared to small muscle nerve impulse nerve impulse if the nerve impulse is fast faster and stronger the nerve impulse more powerful will the contraction of muscle thus the strength will be improved okay nerve impulse send the message to the skeletal muscle nerve impulse send a message to the skeletal muscles to response if the nerve impulse um nerve impulse strong there will be the fast contractions and higher the strength our strength will be more the intensity of neuromuscular response that determine the strength higher the stronger the neuromuscular strength more uh, more will be the strength okay higher the neuromuscular response faster the neuromuscular response there will be the faster contractions thus our strength will be more adequate energy if we have more energy we will have more strain greater the number of mitochondria in our muscle fibers produce more energy if the mitochondria in our muscle fibers is more than more energy 
it will release more energy and stronger and longer the muscle contraction age usually the persons between 20 to 40 years have more strain and after that it gradually decrease the strain genders male have more strain as compared to women women due to bigger and longer muscle length usually men have more longer muscles their muscles length is long and the length of the muscles also determine the strain longer the if the uh, size of the muscle is length means the length of the muscle is more it will have more strength therefore gender have more strength as compared to female due to their muscle length body weight usually the persons who are overweight they have more uh, more strength they have more power myoglobin myoglobin it is a type of protein which is present in muscle fibers to store the oxygen which produce energy during the emergency thus higher the myoglobin if the myoglobin is highest in our muscle fibers then the strength of a persons will be more these are the factors which determine the strength okay the first is muscle covering sarcolemma white muscle fibers muscle contractions fasters and stronger the muscular contractions more will be the strain length of the muscles if the muscle length is more long muscle have more strain as compared to short muscle nerve impulse fasters and stronger the neuromuscular response faster will be the muscular contractions and our strain will be more age as the age increase that is um, age between 20 to 40 years they have more strength and after that our strength gradually decrease gender male have more strength body weight the persons who is overweight whose weight is more they have more weight as compared to the person who are lean and thin that is ectomorphic endomorphic person have more strength and myoglobin myoglobin they have more strength next is physiological factors what are the physiological factors that determine the speed 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 means ability to do the work as fast as possible how fast you can do the activity in a minimum possible time speed there are four type of speed reaction time reaction time acceleration speed of movement and locomotor ability these are the four type of speed okay speed means ability to do the activity as fast as possible how fast you can do the activity reaction time reaction time means ability to react immediately to a signal how fast you can react to a signal for example in sprint running how you how fast you can react to a signal go acceleration acceleration means uh, how fast you can achieve your maximum speed ability to achieve your maximum speed and speed of movements means ability to complete ability how fast you can complete the movement and locomotor ability means how fast you can change your directions maintaining the maximum speed and the speed also depend upon strength endurance flexibility and coordinative ability first is fast twist muscle fibers that is white muscle fiber greater the percentage of white muscle fibers faster is the speed okay the persons who have white muscle fibers they have more speed and the persons who have red muscle fibers they have more endurance neuromuscular response higher and faster the neuromuscular response 
faster and stronger is the muscle contractions if our neuromuscular response is fast there will be the quick reaction of our muscle therefore our speed will be more flexibility higher the flexibility the persons who have more flexible they have more speed okay flexibility it also a factors that determine the speed flexibility the persons who have flexibility more flexibility they have more speed because they are able to stretch their a muscle stretch your joint if they are easily able to stretch their joint then their speed will also improve atp energy store atp means adenosine triphosphate this greater the atp store faster is the energy release for speedy and an aerobic activity this atp store act as a emergency energy because in speed when we do the activity with fast speed we does not uh, we have a uh, we does not have a sufficient oxygen therefore this atp act as a emergency energy it provide you energy during an aerobic activity an aerobic capacity an aerobic capacity means an aerobic means doing activity in the absence of oxygen and the individual if the person has an aerobic capacity then he will have the ability to do the activity in the absence of oxygen also therefore his speed will be more these are the factors that determine the speed that is white muscle fibers neuromuscular response flexibility atp energy store and an aerobic capacity okay fast twitch muscle means they have more speed neuromuscular response if there is better neuromuscular response higher the faster neuromuscular response faster will be the muscular contraction thus our speed will also improve flexibility atp energy this atp energy act as a emergency emergency energy therefore our speed will be improved and an aerobic capacity next is physiological factors determining flexibility flexibility it is the ability to stretch your joint as much as possible ability of joint to move in maximum range how fast ne uh, how much you can stretch your joint okay flexibility means ability to stretch your joint as much as possible there are two type of flexibility passive flexibility active flexibility passive flexibility means ability to stretch your joint with the help of external object or with the help of partner and active flexibility active flexibility means stretching your joint without any external help for example doing chakrasan and following some physiological factors that determine the flexibility are joint articulation structures of joint joint articulation means joint structure structure is also the main factors that determine the flexibility because it is attached to various muscle ligament cartilage tendons therefore the flexibility of the um the flexibility is also depend upon joint articulation that is according to the structure of the joint ligament elasticity ligament it is uh, ligament is present between the joint ligaments connect bones to bones if the ligament uh if the ligament elastic elasticity of ligament if the ligament is more uh, elastic then there there our flexibility will be more our joint will easily stretch if our ligament 
if our ligament elast elasticity is improved okay so ligament elast elasticity our flexibility is also depend on if our ligament is easily stressed then our joint can be easily stressed without any pain toward the muscle attached near the joint muscle stre stretchability higher the muscle stretchability more is the range of joint okay if we are able to stress our muscle easily then our flexibility will also improve disease or injury usually if the person has disease if the person has disease or injury in his joint then his flexibility is affected age usually the children have more flexibility than adults genders female have more flexible body than males due to their anatomical structures okay now genders male have more strength and female have more flexibility warming up warming up is also affect the flexibility if we do a warming up our flexibility will be improved heredity heredity is also related with flexibility as the joint structures and its articulations is related with heredity so heredity also uh, it is heredity um, also determine the flexibility these are the component these are the factors which determine the flexibility so today we have discussed about the physiological factors that are that determine the strength speed endurance and flexibility means physiology physiology means the study of structure uh, study of human body function and its in fact how the human body organs system function and what are its effect if we do exercise what are its effect on our uh, body there are various component of physical fitness and what are the effect of our body what are the physiological factors on this component first is endurance endurance means ability to do the activity for long period of time speed uh, speed means ability to do the activity as fast as possible strength means ability to overcome the resistance and flexibility means ability to stress your joint as much as possible and the factors that determine your strength is that determine your endurance is maximum oxygen uptake oxygen uptake and oxygen intake oxygen uptake means uh, oxygen uh, oxygen uptake oxygen uptake means the amount of oxygen which can be absorbed and consumed by the walking muscle from the blood okay oxygen uptake oxygen intake oxygen intake means the amount of oxygen which can be taken up from the taken up by the lungs from the atmosphere okay oxygen intake intake means the amount of oxygen taken up by the lungs from the environment and oxygen uptake oxygen uptake means the amount of oxygen absorbed and consumed by the walking muscles from the blood so if the oxygen uptake is more then more oxygen will reach to the walking muscle if more oxygen reach to the walking muscles it will produce more energy if more energy it produce then we can do the activity for long period of time pulmonary diffusion pulmonary diffusion means absence of oxygen and carbon dioxide if the absence of oxygen and carbon dioxide is fast then 
it's have to remove the carbon dioxide from our body thus endurance will be improved cardiac output if our cardiac output improve more blood is pump out by the heart if more blood is pump our endurance will be improved aerobic capacity means ability to do the activity in the presence of oxygen for a long period of time but our speed will be slow we do the activity for long duration with a slow speed lactic threshold lactic threshold means ability to tolerate lactic acid due to lactic acid you know we feel fatigue due to the presence of lactic acids when we do any activity lactic acid is produced due to which we feel fatigue but if we um but if we have uh, better lactic if our ability to tolerate the lactic threshold increase then we are able to uh, delay the lactic acids delay the fatigue if if we are able to tolerate the lactic acid it will have to delay the fatigue tiredness which result in improving the endurance blood volume or blood flow higher the flow of blood more oxygen and nutrients will transport by the bloods to the working muscle as well as there will be the increase in hemoglobin in the red blood cells red muscle fibers the persons who have red muscle fibers they have more endurance because red muscle fibers carry more oxygen thus it will have to improve our aerobic endurance hydrations if we hydrations means sufficient amount of waters if we have sufficient amount of waters in our body our endurance will be improved these are the some physiological factors that determine the endurance